Hello everyone and welcome to Jokkmokk. I'm Stina and in this video I will show you some glimpses from me, Matti and the dog Summer here in Jokkmokk. I will take you on a journey of our life from the beginning of June till the end of August. Of course there isn't room for everything in one video but it will at least give you an idea. And hang on till the end because as you saw in the intro we got some new four-legged family members that I want to show you. is so much things we want to do in summer but it's also things we have to do uh, it's a lot of maintenance of equipment it's both summer equipment like canoes kayaks tents but it's also winter equipment and then we of course have the never-ending story of maintaining the kennel okay. Got some beavers here in the kennel, I think. It's done with the floor, so now I have to fix the floor. And then I have to take up this one and I will cut it by here. And then this one and I will cut it off here. So Let's do that. Always some maintenance in the kennel. most beautiful but uh, the can cannon starts to get pretty old so there are some maintenance all the time especially when we have beavers on the kennel <laughs> First days of June was really warm and nice, but then the rest of June pretty cold. But we sat outside eating good food and we had a glass of wine with Matti's mother anyway. Well, then after June, July came. And with July also the heat. Um, as many other places in the world right now, it's very warm and also here but this is not unusual for the summers in Jokkmokk we have short summers but it's uh, usually a period when we have this hot uh, I don't appreciate it so much and the dogs either uh, let's look at the thermometer yeah. we're done several things to help the dogs to stay cooler so in the kennels we have put up sun sails give shadow uh, looks like this 
uh, not all the kennels some kennels have uh, shadow from trees and so on so they don't need it but in the sunniest kennels we have this sun sails we have a water hose uh, and the water pump down in the lake and then we have the water hose here for summer water in the canal and the dogs have their pool so they could cool down and then empty and fill up new cool water in their water bowls so hot today yay not fun no it's not fun <laughs> We have the pool. Um, pass it in the pool. Oh, happy. Oh, it's so warm. Yeah. It's incredible warm. Uh, no wind at all. So it's terrible. Let the dogs be out out here in the playground. It's more shadow, a little bit cooler than in the kennels. No. So the dogs are happy to be out here. And they have their cave project here. They have a pretty deep cave here. And it's cool and nice down in the ground. So this is a favorite thing. Except for cooling down in the pool. Nice. There's a bump, Nice. Yeah. So warm. So now it's my turn to cool down. We are so lucky that we live just by the lake. And since it gets so warm and we have the midnight sun heating up 24 hours a day, the water in the lake actually gets very warm. So it's very nice to swim. And hot lake days like this. I sometimes go down several times a day taking a swim. So we actually get, we have um, ordered four new Packraft boats from a Swedish company called uh, 
Packcraft Sweden. And now we have four of these MRS boats, MRS. So as we have said before, this is a plan that we're going to start renting them out and making guided tours with these boats. And also because we want to have fun by ourselves. We have, since before we had two boats, so it's quite small. So what I'm doing now is that I'm folding them out, filling them up with air and putting some ropes on them so it's easy to pull, pull them up from the lake. And when you put the rope it should be quite tight so if you flip you should not be stuck with a foot or arm or hand or something in this rope so I tighten them quite well. At the same time, when I'm doing the Packcraft boat inside the house here, I'm also uh, render a video, the next video. This computer have made so much problem for me the last months, so I actually have ordered a new one, and now we will see. I'm changing from PC to Mac. Okay. Except from all the things we fix at our place and kennel in the summer, we also rent out canoes and kayaks. It's a lot of loading and unloading equipment and canoes all the time and it's pretty heavy work but sometimes if we're both at home we don't have to load the heavy canoes alone. And yes, this summer we have spent endless of hours in the car driving people out and pick them up from their canoe adventures. And that's something we have to find a better solution for next summer because driving car is not what we want I would to do. Suggest you to be on this side first. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. it will be more narrow. Yeah. And then you can go to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It could be a little bit current there, but it's not high water here, so it shouldn't be any problem. Okay. No, and otherwise we'll cross uh, yeah. when we cross when it's when the, the night something when yeah. the rain is uh, the wind is. Uh, mm. Also had some guided tours and this summer it's mostly been hiking tours but also a canoe trip and we have been able to be out on some adventures just by ourselves me and Matti.
you remember from our video in July about the daily life at our kennel that Dolly was expecting puppies? Well, the 21st of July these four beauties was born. two boys and two girls and we're gonna keep one of each the first weeks they just eat and sleep but they grow so fast and by the age of three weeks they already start to explore their surroundings outside their box and they also start to taste real food. And now they are six and a half weeks and it's a little bit more action so to say. So this is the end of this video, the summer has passed by so fast and every year it feels like I've been cheated on summer a bit and I don't feel ready for autumn yet but well the autumn is closing in and now our focus will turn more and more into dog training so the dogs get fit for the winter and dog sled tours but we also have some more videos to edit from adventures in August. If you like our videos, please consider to support us. Uh, you can either support us to become a patron or you can see some other options in the descriptions below here. We are super grateful for all the support we can get, how small it may be. Then maybe we can get paid for all the hours we're spending making these videos one day. Uh, well, and don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do. and. Thumbs up and comments are always highly appreciated. Hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye. Oh, mosquitoes. It's a lot of mosquitoes, but it's so beautiful. Carl von Linné said that God created the mosquito because otherwise Swedish Lapland have been a competition to paradise. I believe him. If that's true.